Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of another random block palette challenge. So if you haven't seen the first couple episodes, this is how it works. I'm going to press this button back here and it's going to give me a random block palette. And then I have to use that palette to make a build using only those blocks. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit the button and see what we get. Interesting. Alright, so it looks like these are the nine blocks we're going to have to use. So let's go find a spot and we'll get to building. Okay, so this is the spot I've got cleared out for this one. This is actually a pretty cool spot. We've got some weird uh, terrain just kind of generated in here, which I think is kind of cool, but I'm just picturing like if you've got a house or something just sitting on this ledge, you can kind of come out here and like fish or look out the edge. And I think we can fit something nice back up in here. And so I'm going to try to do what I can with that, but uh, let's look at the blocks that we're dealing with. I've got the uh, blocks laid out a little bit from darkest to lightest here, just kind of in general. And I'm actually kind of excited about this one because I finally have some blocks with these three over here that I can use for some sort of like a gradient or something like that. It looks like it kind of goes dark to light. And so I think I'm going to use that for the main structure of the walls. And I want to go for a little bit of a different style this time, rather than having those like super harsh corners with a bunch of edges everywhere and sharp shapes poking out. I want to kind of go for like a softer sort of feel, so I'm going to try to tuck something back in here, maybe a little bit messier, uh, that's maybe a little bit more lived in or something like that. I am excited to have the birch over here so that I can use that to kind of fill in any of the uh, extra details that we might need. And I think I'm going to have to see about these three blocks here and the snow because snow is just such a hard contrast. It's so bright, as you can see right here with all these other blocks, it's just going to stand out super bad. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet, but uh, I guess that's part of the challenge. So we're going to have to figure it out. So let's jump into a little time lapse and I'll be right back. got so far is this little house that's just kind of tucked in on this hill and the idea is that somebody is living in this house who has probably been living here for a pretty long time and the reason it looks like they've been living here for such a long time is because it looks like the walls are kind of rusting over so I was building this and I was looking at the blocks that I needed to use in this challenge and so far I had had these walls and I needed some way to incorporate the stone brick so I started to develop a little bit of a story in my head, which is that somebody came here a long time ago and built this house, and they've just been living in here and just fixing the things that they need to fix to stay alive and keep living here. So for example, the doors, and I've also got some conveyor belts, I'll get to that in a second, but all these doors and like the garage door, everything looks, looks pretty nice, like the things that they use all the time. But everything else, since it's just one person who's been living here for so long, is kind of starting to rust over and become a little bit overgrown and old. So the idea is that the resident of this building has just been producing the things that they need to survive. So for example, I have lava coming up out of this pit, which is actually gold. It's the uh, raw gold block. So they're digging for lava coming out of here. They could probably get other things out of there as well. But I thought it would be really cool to have this little conveyor belt here taking the lava from there into the house. And as you can see out on the back here, we've got the empty buckets getting fed down into this system. I also created this thing, and the story behind this is that whoever lived here before would go down and hunt and fish and do whatever they needed down there, uh, or they would go collect the lava by hand or whatever they needed, and then they would come back up. But then one day, something happened, and maybe they were being chased by uh, mobs, or they almost fell and died or something. And so they were coming back up here, barely made it back up, and decided never to go back down there again. And that's why they built this. So one thing that I actually have been struggling with a little bit is this uh, light blue color. And just because it doesn't really fit in here very well, but I think uh, I'm gonna use it as a little bit of like a flap 
to uh, for, for these items that are coming into the house. Also, I'm toying with using it for maybe doors, windows, or uh, like the balcony. I don't really know how I like this so far. I'm going to have to look at that and try to work that in somehow a little bit better because I feel like right now it's pretty sparse and you can't really tell that I'm using a whole bunch of it. Uh, so I'm going to hop back in here and continue to work on this. I think I'm going to actually add a little bit more piping and just bring this build alive a little bit more. And I also have to go back through and detail this entire thing, probably add some doors and windows and really polish this thing off. So let's do that and I'll be right back. This is it. Here we are. So as you can see, we're using all of the different blocks in this build. Added a little bit more detail on this side, just adding another conveyor belt right here. As you can see, I'm also using the blue for the windows. I figured that was the best way to incorporate it into this build without going too overboard. And I think it looks all right. I have decorated the surrounding area a little bit with some more pipes going in and around the sides here. Did the same thing on the other side with this pipe. I also added this little pathway down to this little outhouse. If you don't know what an outhouse is, Look it up. And then just as a little extra detail down at the bottom, I've got the blue glass incorporated again here just to make it look like this thing is like dripping down some of the, uh, you know, <clears throat> stuff. And uh, yeah, when, when I first looked at this cliff, I was like, I got to hang something off the side of this. So uh, we've got this chain holding up the uh, outhouse over here. I also detailed this deck, uh, giving you a little bit more depth with the buttons and the slabs and some trapdoors and things like that. I added a door up here so that the people inside can get out on the deck. And that is about it. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.